Good morning students. Today we will learn a new poem of your syllabus. The name of the poem is The Squirrel. It is composed by Mildred Boers Armstrong. It is a very short but interesting poem. So before going into the poem, let's discuss about the squirrel. The name of the poem is The Squirrel. So naturally the poem must be about a squirrel. Most of us has often seen squirrels running around here and there, all over the trees. Squirrel is a rodent and we know that it is a very interesting and playful animal. It is very naughty. You have seen many a time around the tree or you must have tried to play with it. Similar is the poet. What the poet is doing in the poem? We will read about it. So let's read the poem. The squirrel. He wore a question mark for tail. An overcoat of grey. He sat up straight to eat a nut. He liked to tease and play. And if we ran around his tree, he went the other way. So here we can see this poem is not upon a theme. Rather, it is a short descriptive poem. The poem tells us about the squirrel and its naughty behavior. Let us go through the poem line by line with explanation. He wore a question mark for tail. Underline the word he. Here, he refers to the squirrel in the poem. But how a squirrel wore a question mark for a tail? Well, if we see a squirrel, we will find that the shape of the tail of a squirrel is like a question mark. So, the poet is relating it with a question mark. An overcoat of grey. Underline the word overcoat. Overcoat means outer skin of the squirrel. Here, the poet is talking about the body of a squirrel. Now, if we look into a squirrel's back, we can see that it is furry and in grey color. So, in the poet's imagination, he visualizes it to be the overcoat of the squirrel, which is grey in color. The way we wore overcoat when it is extremely cold outside. Similarly, the poet is relating the appearance of a squirrel with an overcoat. He sat up straight to eat a nut. All of us know that the squirrel loves to eat nut. Underline the word nut. Now, have you noticed one thing? Whenever we see squirrels, they always bent and moving here and there and running. But whenever they eat something, they eat in a certain posture. But the posture is just straight. Their back is always straight. That is why the poet says they sat up straight. Underline the word straight and write the meaning. Upright. He liked to tease and play. Here the poet tells us the naughty behavior of a squirrel. Underline the words tease and play. Here the word play suggests its playful nature. But the question is how can a squirrel tease? We will get the answer in the next two lines. And if we ran around his tree, he went the other way. If we ever try to catch the squirrel, it is very difficult as it always turns around the other way. So similar is the case with the poet. When he and his friend tries to catch it, it went the other way. That's way it teases them. Underline the word we. Here the word we refers to the poet and his friend. Here, 
we get to know how tricky a squirrel is in this kind of situations. So here, the poet is expressing and sharing his experience as a child when he, along with his friend, was trying to catch a squirrel or play with it. So now the time is for homework. So what you have to do? At first you have to write down the poem. And obviously then you have to go through it again and again. Then you have to write down the word meaning. And then answer the following questions. A. Write the name of the poem and the poet. B. Who is referred to as he in the poem? C. Who is sitting on the ground and what is it doing? D. He liked to tease and play. Who is teasing whom? 